Okay, so now I'm going to create that part. I'm going to go to look at this. So this is nothing but a piece, like a, I can use a cylinder to create that. So I'm going to go to my perspective view, create a cylinder. And since I've been using 10 subdivisions for all my cylinders, I'm going to do the same thing for this one, 10. And uh, I don't need the top or the bottom, so I'm going to go to the faces and delete the upper faces and delete all the faces on the bottom too. And get this little piece, go to the side view, and bring it up here. I'm just going to scale it uniformly and sort of get exactly that shape. I'm going to turn on the x-ray so I can... So this is the shape. Uh, now I need to extrude it and extrude the, la the, the inner part. So I'm going to go and like select this edge and extrude that. And what I need to do is to do an offset, uh, so a thickness, a negative thickness, something like that, and then extrude again. And I need to do that. Now this is not, that doesn't look okay. So I'm going to have to go and select and scale it. So I can do some manual uh, work here. I can just move these vertices, and I can move... Um, these faces until they get over here. Select these guys, move them up, select all the other vertices, and move them down. So that would be, uh, that's the lamp, lamp shade. Now I'm going to create a little thickness, so I'm going to make it look thicker, but also, let me see if there's any other intricate detail here. I'm just going to uh, hide the polygons for a second. <clears throat> we can't really tell. I'm just going to make a thickness. So I, I'll keep it simple. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn off the x-ray and create and just give it some thickness. <clears throat> uh, something like that. And um, now this is not centered here. I need to like line it up, line it up with uh, with the center of this piece. So I'm going to select it, select and shift select this piece. And I'm going to use the uh, align objects. So what I need to do is I want to line it up on the middle on the X and on the last selected object. So if that would be it, that would be fine. And that's exactly what I wanted. Now I'm gonna go to my side view. And if I press three, this is this looks really different from what we see in the photograph. So I'm gonna go and start sharpening some areas. I like to bevel. I'm gonna start beveling So this piece, this one, I'm just selecting what, what areas I need to bevel. This one. So all these are going to be beveled. I'm going to go ahead and use the bevel options. And I want to do an absolute bevel of 0 0.01. That would be nice. And then now I'm going to go back to object mode, turn this off, turn on the wireframe on shaded so I can see. Press 3. So that's a little too soft down here. I'm going to use the edit insert edge loop tool and add some edges. One over here. Press 3. So I'll go one, I toggle between 1 and 3 so I can review what I'm what what it looks like. Maybe one over over here, one over there. Sometimes I leave it at three. It's hard to see though. So the, it's uh, here. It's our, so the mesh is breaking, so I need to really work this out. So in, from the inside, it looks good. 
Okay, so I'm done with that. Now we need to make uh, uh, the gear that holds that lampshade. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring some uh, other image plane on the top view. So this is reference one. I'm going to hide that. So we're almost there. I'm going to go to the top view and bring some image plane. So this will be, uh, since I haven't set, set the project yet, I'm going to make a, this is going to be a, a lamp, floor lamp. And I'm going to save it. I have a dedicated folder for my Maya files. So I just have, um, I'm going to select this area, accept and save this as a floor lamp with the date today. So it's like 1506. Save. Okay, so now I'm ready to bring um, the other image plane. So this is the gear that I want to make, something like that. So I'm going to use this as a reference. I'm going to uh, pull it under the grid and I'll put it in another layer and name this layer uh, ref2 reference02 save and I can lock it so this is just easy I have to like uh, create these cylindrical pieces this is just a disk uh, I'm gonna use like a I wanna do it on the side here I'm going to use a pipe tool again, thickness uh, something like that. And then uh, I'm going to use 10 subdivisions and the height that would be fine. Okay, so then I'm going to just make it smaller. I mean, I could bring it here and just measure it perfectly. <clears throat> That's I can select all the vertices. I'll use the lasso tool. I can select all the vertices in here. And just scale them down. So now the way we see the image, I need to create uh, certain asserts, some cylinders here. So I'm going to work on a cylinder, <clears throat> and I'm going to uh, hold down the J and get this guy 90 degrees. <clears throat> so this is the cylinder here, <clears throat> definitely a smaller radius. Subdivisions, I'm going to do 8. This is a super small piece. <clears throat> so this would be my other part. This needs to go all the way and hit that metal piece. And I want to save as much polys as possible, so I'm going to delete that. I don't need those faces. And go back to my top view. Get these vertices back here. Now this has to be fit, this has to fit on my lamp, on my actual piece here. So I'm going to select this guy. actually no, this guy and um, so I'm gonna cre I'm gonna grab these guys and bring them here 
So this needs to be lined up with that guy. So we need to line along the X and then move it towards the center. Get this guy lined up with this again on the X, select it, move it, move the vertices. Hold on the V, snap them exactly on this piece. Select that and snap it. And actually this I'm gonna bring it all the way to here. Now these are should go up. I'm going to move the pivot point in the center, this, this pivot point, D, move, and click the V and center the pivot point over here. So that way, this guy is moving like perfectly around that bolt. So I'm going to duplicate that, and I'm going to use a 120. And do another one, duplicate, and do another minus 120. So that's like all these, um, all this metal gear, metal, metal gear inside the lamp. I could go and be more elaborate. I mean, I could go over here and just add more, more stuff, and kind of wrap it around, but. I'm just going to do a very small thing here. I'm just going to use the insert edge loop tool and um, get the face. Of course, if you want to see through, turn on the x-ray. Look at get the faces that you don't need. These I don't need. And I want these guys to just do a little bit of an extrusion. So it's like a bolt. Since I changed that, I'm going to uh, go to the top view and delete these and do this one more time. So uh, duplicate it, 120, and then duplicate that on the other side, minus 120. Okay. Um, now I need to make a, another piece over here that is holding that, that part. I can select these guys and combine them just so I can have and modify center pivot. So I have uh, almost so I have this piece done. This will hold the the light bulb. I could move it lower, something like that. And I need to go to the side view and look at my other reference image. So now I'm gonna. So I'm going to use this another cylinder piece. So create another cylinder again, ten subdivisions, and bring it and snap it up here. Go to this top view. So this piece is going to be really easy. I'm just going to first of all uh, modify, um, align it on the X. And align it on uh, Z. Actually, I'm going to move it back here. I'm going to move it exactly in the center. And this will be. I'll, I'll grab these faces up here and extrude them and do a little offset and extrude them again 
and extrude one more time and do a little offset. I'm just going to improvise here with that gear. I'm just going to do something like that. And insert another edge loop. So you can see that I'm like kind of creating that little So this is done. I just need to bring this up. So the lampshade is done. I need to put like a light bulb in there. You guys know how to do a light bulb, right? You know, with uh, just a symmetrical. Um, let's see. There's, these guys are showing a little bit here. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to save this and pause the video.